What's up guys, welcome back to day four, playground edition, at home workouts. Today our ball handling session is gonna involve two basketballs. We're gonna go into our rolling series, gonna work a lot on keeping our inside shoulder low and keeping the basketball that we're dribbling nice and tight to our frame. We're gonna work on different uh, hand exchanges out of that. Our footwork of the day is going to be a little skill stack of under drags and foot switches dive into the details on that later on and our pickup of the day is going to be a ball wrap pickup as we find new pass and finishes at the basket all right guys we're going to get started with our two ball roll series again if you don't have access to another basketball totally fine just try to find a ball that is just simply going to roll back and forth to you because that ball is not going to be dribbled it's only going to be one side that we're going to focus on but again rolling the basketball is going to keep your shoulders to a low level it's going to keep your hands active and it's also going to see how fast you can be with your exchanges our first exchange, we're gonna work with a push cross. Now, the timing of this, we wanna be able to make sure that we're rolling the basketball first before we exchange over. Once that ball exchanges, we wanna be able to quickly stop that rolling ball, reset with a, maybe one or two pounds, and then start the process back over. Now that we've completed our rolling push crosses, let's add in a hand exchange through after our push cross. Remember, we still wanna be able to roll the ball first. Again, mixing up those speeds. Once I roll the ball left hand to right, I have my push cross. Once I roll the ball back right to left, I have my hand exchange through, seeing how fast you can be with those hands. Now that we completed our hand exchange throughs after our rolls, let's add into an advanced one of going a straight behind. Remember, a straight behind is letting that basketball hit directly behind you. Again, keeping your hands active, keeping your inside shoulder and your chest on an angle to the floor, you gotta be able to roll the ball first and completely stop it while you get your hand exchanges. Remember, every time you reset, try to see the ball back in front of you so that we can keep those game simulations alive where we're playing everything in front, nothing on the side or nothing behind us. Let's check out our push cross rolls, our rolls to our hand exchange throughs, and our rolls to our straight behinds. Now that we completed our rolling series, let's dive into the full work of the day. Our footwork of the day, again, is gonna be a skill stack of an under drag into a foot switch. A drag stop is to create a stop separation out of the drive. Again, we're gonna make sure that our outside foot is planted forward, our inside foot is planted back or dragging back, creating a gap underneath our legs that the ball can fit through. A foot switch is simply just switching our feet, landing into a drop stance. Remember, we wanna be able to stay wide out of this stance. So on our breakdowns, we're gonna keep that other accountability tool. If you have basketball, cone, whatever you have at home that works, we're gonna keep it on the ground right now. Our right foot is gonna be our outside foot is gonna be planted right next to that ball. Our inside or our drag foot is gonna be in our back. So again, we're gonna be into more of a running or a lunge stance. We're gonna keep our chest, our shoulders, and our hips more engaged on this. We're gonna stay with our left hand on top of that ball. All I want you guys to be able to do is take two pounds with the right hand, put that ball under with your foot switch. Try to see that left foot next to that basketball where we're getting just a little bit of an offhand touch, but again, staying wide and not getting long. Let's check out a couple. Now that we feel comfortable with our under drags and our foot switches with our accountability, now let's combine that and take it to the basket if you have access to it. Again, our pickup of the day is gonna be a behind the back wrap pickup. So just how it sounds, I'm gonna pick up the basketball after my dribble step and I'm gonna ball wrap behind me as I take my first and second step to find a new path to the basket. Again, we're gonna stay holding us accountable with our basketball or our training tool to making sure that we're, our body's engaged, our shoulders, our hips are low. We're getting in a nice long drag stance and keeping a wide stance during our foot switch as we drive to the basket.
and that concludes day four playground edition. We had our rolling series, again, with our hand exchanges. We had our push cross, we had our hand exchange through the legs, and we had our hand exchange straight behind. Remember, roll the ball first for those actions. Our footwork of the day was a skill stack of our under drags and our foot switches. Remember, a drag is to create that stop separation before we put that ball under. Our foot switch landing in that drop, nice and wide explosive stance. And our pickup of the day was our ball wrap pickup, picking the ball up on that dribble step, wrapping the ball behind, taking our two steps to find a new finish. Make sure you check out tomorrow's video. Same time, same place.